Hi there, I'm Rex King. Welcome back to another episode of Straight to Streaming. Today I am talking about Blood and Gold. Blood and Gold was directed by Peter Forworth. I apologize if I mispronounced that name. And follows Heinrich, played by Robert Macer. He's a SS soldier who decides to desert because he uh, learned that his family died in a bombing attack and the only survivor was his daughter. Also, he found out that Nazis are evil. I know, big revelation. So he tries to desert, however, he is quickly caught and hung for his troubles. But before the news can kill him, he is saved by Elsa, uh, played by Marie Hack, who cuts him down and brings him to her farm. She also hates the Nazis because they killed her parents, and they decide to team up to try to survive as the Nazis have taken over the nearby town in search of gold. So this story is fine for half the movie. When it's focusing on Elsa and Heinrich trying to survive and fight off the Nazis, it's really good. It, there is a lot there and it feels like a decent B-movie action uh, flick. However, when it tries to focus on the gold subplot, which happens primarily in the second half of the film, it's quite jarring as the movie tries to take itself a little bit more seriously, trying to say something about the nature of greed and of fear and how it corrupts us and turns us against one another. It just doesn't fit with the overall feel of the rest of the film and really takes the wind out of the sails that the first half generates, as the first half generates a ton of energy, while the second half just kind of whimpers all that energy away. The characters, for the most part, are fine. We have our two main characters, they're decently well written, and have decent motivations for what they're trying to do. The main villains, the Nazis, aren't written as interesting characters, but let's face it, we don't care because they're Nazis. They're here to die, and we just want to see them die as bloody as possible. However, there is a subsect of villains who are the townsfolk who know where the gold is and are trying to keep the gold for their own selfish reasons. Those characters really should have been cut from the movie as they add nothing to the story and, quite frankly, are just kind of boring. They aren't interesting and they just do not feel well-rounded in the slightest. Then you have the performances and this is why I say this film could have been a great B-action movie because everyone is performing over the top as possible. And in a film like this, I enjoy that. However, again, it doesn't fit with the second half of the movie which is trying to say something about the nature of humanity, greed, and so forth. Again, if this film had just focused on being a B-movie action film, it would have been fine, but with it trying to take itself seriously in that second half, it just doesn't work with the performances that we are given. The visuals, I really wish the visuals were a little bit more stylized, but other than that, the action's fine, it's bloody, it's gory, it's nicely fun-paced. I. I have no problems with the uh, action choreography. The costume works pretty good. The set design's pretty decent. Again, I just feel like it doesn't fit with the second half of the film, which tries to take itself way too seriously. I know I'm driving on that point home, but even the musical score, which is also cheesy and over the top, makes that second half feel so out of place. At the end of the day, Blood and Gold would have been a fine, fun flick if it had just not taken itself seriously and focused on our two leads trying to kill Nazis. I would have enjoyed that. In fact, that's probably my happy place. But instead, we've tried to add this little subplot with the gold that tries to talk about the nature of humanity and doesn't really add anything to the film. In fact, it detracts a lot of the energy the first half builds up. If you had just taken out the gold in Blood and Gold, this film would have been fine. <sighs> but as it is, I will give Blood and Gold a 4 out of 10. I didn't hate this film, I just saw that it could have been so much better. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, that's what I thought about Blood and Gold. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell to be notified when I post new content. And I will see you next time.